Oggy's best friend is Hugo Swan. They've known each other forever. You don't mind when people are odd? It's how we're friends. They would take a bullet for one another. As far as society is concerned, Augustus Bidlow is above reproach. He's perfect. I think Augie would take one for Hugo first. <laughs> Sorry, what? Hugo is like no one else I've ever heard about. That's a pungent gambit. Hugo is incredibly gregarious and boisterous and irreverent. You know, touched. Yes, they're terrible. They're wonderful. They're sad. He's a lord, which gives him an immense amount of privilege. On the other hand, he actively extricates himself from it. He lives really according to his own code. He's a pansexual posh boy who is rude, loud, and indecent, but he's a goddamn delight. You seem a bit nervous. I usually am. Hugo's best friend, Augie, is very contained and repressed. Augie's constantly anxious and vulnerable. He lets his sister, Vivinia, boss him around because he knows no other way. The touched are not a threat, yet you seem determined to prove that they are. Just bring the touch to the opera. Do you think they might be hideous? Well, whatever they are, flirt with the ugly one. It creates an unexpected balance. Initially, he is repelled by the touched. At the same time, there's a certain level of curiosity. Well, so what's wrong with you? <laughs> I think he means me. At the opera, Oggy realises that he's touched penance. Witnessed him having that moment. I dreamt I was a crow soaring over the countryside. He's being opened up in a way it's never been allowed to before. He's with a bunch of people, and one person particularly that, that he wants to impress. It's not out of character, maybe it's just buried very deep for Oggy to go with Amalia on the expedition to the Galanthi. Amalia both intimidates and fascinates Oggy. She is very driven, and I think he's drawn to the potential in that. What do you think you'll find down there? Can I just say hope? And I think that's allowing him to spread his wings. Hugo's relationship to the touched is quite complicated. It's not as simple as ally or enemy. He runs the Ferryman's Club, where people of wealth and privilege get to live out their fantasies. If this is the finest party I've been to all day. Hugo realizes the touched could be a fantastic asset for his club. The touched are the future. On the one hand, Hugo is using these people. The Ferryman's is a massive venture more even than I'd hoped. But on the other hand, he is... Paying them and housing them. His relationship is not black and white. The touched, they have a right to earn a living. I need a small investment. How much? Augie, okay, I don't need money. It's your name I find fetching. It lends uh, legitimacy. He's using Augie's credibility and integrity to give the Ferrymans a sheen of civility. Keeps the legal woes at bay. Everyone's got that friend who, if they met them now, they wouldn't be friends. But Augie does get a kick out of Hugo. Whether his knee-jerk reaction is to be offended, the truth is that there's a little bit of him that enjoys the chance to... Look important, say no a lot. Um... No? 